Hi, I'm Lee and welcome to my channel. And as I was trying to figure out what to call this video, this, um, this was extremely frequent in our relationship. It, it, and I think at one point he actually said to me that he would be mean to me to get his point across. He tried to give me some BS excuse of why he just can't be nice or can't speak like a normal adult on why he said he was mean to me or whatever is so I would, so he could get his point across. He's a bully, straight up. He's a bully. Whether he acknowledges that or not, he is an almost 60 year old, five foot six bully, flat out. So the title of this video is Conversations with a Narcissist. Conversations like this happen real frequently, real frequently. And this is actually dated uh, June 9th of last year, 2021. So this whole thing, I remember this thing too. And honestly, I, like as I look at this and rethink this, like this person is just completely a narcissist. <laughs> um, so this actually happened, this was before, uh, well, after this, I mean, he broke up with me, told me to go blank myself. Like, I mean, a narcissist or especially this person, but a narcissist in general. Okay. So I had this little aha epiphany. It's always so funny how these little aha moments are like way later. Okay, but a narcissist, they get off on attention. Okay, they get off on attention. And he definitely got off on the fact that I loved him more than he ever loved me. He never loved me. He never loved me. He never liked me. He never showed any respect towards me. Watch the other videos, you'll see that. And so the only reason that he I don't even want to say with me, but he, he got off on hurting me because I saw the way he treated his other little girls. Oh, no, 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 no. They were up here. Me, way the frick down here. So, okay. So, and I feel like, yeah, he did all of this to get off on, to get off because he knew this would hurt me. He knew that. He got off on that. And he knew it would hurt me and I would be like, why are you being so mean? Like, you know, begging this person to come, like what? this was a sick and twisted game that this person did all the time, at least with me. Didn't do this to, to other, other people. So he would get off on the fact of treating me like absolute crap and wait until you see this, treating me like absolute crap. Then when I'm calling and begging and pleading and just Oh, he got off on all of it. And it's freaking sickening. And yeah. So this thing in particular, I remember this. This was um, um, when he was liking Half Naked Girls photos. And so, and remember, was not on Facebook. The only reason I had a Facebook was to keep track of is he posting more photos of me? Who's he banging? What's this? What's that? Like, I hated Facebook. I still hate Facebook. So I had a Facebook page, but it was just like private. It was just like him, whatever. So, I mean, he posted all these photos of me in bikinis. Watch the video my boyfriend posted, photos of me against my knowledge. Yeah, watch that. So I was like, okay. So I, I don't even think... Yeah, I was in a bikini. I don't even know. Yeah, I was at, it, it was it was a beach photo. So I took a picture, posted it on my page, but had it just like set to private because I don't, yeah, I don't post photos of like that here. So this is what, oh, okay. So, I mean, of course there was more to this. I'm telling you, just the stuff that was in this um, could fill a, a book this freaking thick. So, I mean, I just have like bits and pieces, but it's, it's transcripts. It's definitely here. So when he would try to uh, gaslight me, like as in try to gaslight me, I'm like, oh no, no. But you know, anytime a narcissist is called out on their BS, it's radio silence or go blank yourself. Like they just, they hate being called out. So I said, so you have it blocked from the public that you and I are in a relationship. Yeah. So, I mean, 
Yeah, because why on earth would he... Well, the girls that he had affairs with, they knew he was... These, they don't care. I mean, oh, this guy is just disgusting. Okay, so I say you have it blocked from the public that you and I are in a relationship. So I need to know, like, what is going on. Um, and then I said, I guess something prior to this, of, uh, of just something about him being, I don't know, mean, rude, whatever. <laughs> so this is what he says, okay? And I guess what I'm wanting to say here is it's not necessarily what I say because, you know, most people are a normal person. And yeah, this is all narcissistic, just insane talk. Okay. And I remember all of my girlfriends, when they saw this, they were like, OMG, like, forget him like oh my god I'm, I'm i'm sure my friends now are like thank god she finally just is done with this boy thank god because i know that they were just over it so he says sure i'm your boyfriend but my relationship rules will be different from now on now of course when he said this i don't know if he if he probably was being honest he knew it was going to hurt me yeah and now, remember, after all of this and he was trying to get back into my good graces, once again, never acknowledged any of this. Never acknowledged it, never apologized, like never nothing, okay? Um, rule number one, I don't give a F what you want. I only care about what I want. Got it? When you change your profile picture to something I approve of, I'll allow it back on my timeline. When I decide I want to see you, I'll let you know. Okay. And I said, how is that something that you don't want? You like photos of girls in bikinis. You posted a whole folder of me in bikinis. Hey, yeah. Like, ugh. so why is this an issue? This is what you want. I mean, right? And it's so funny because I saw a, like a post and it said something, guys cheat on you with the girls that they don't want you to be. Yeah. I mean, and he said, the photo sucks. Okay. I said, you didn't say it sucked when I sent it to you. Yeah, no, you sure sure the heck didn't. No, not at all. You didn't say that at all. Said a lot of things that you didn't say that. The photo sucks. And I said, well, if it sucks, why didn't you tell me when I sent it to you? But that's what you like. So I don't see the problem. Typical narcissistic fashion right here. I've already spoken on the subject. Because again, I'm calling you out and can't say anything okay you like you like that I see the photos of girls that you like so it's okay for you to like those photos but for your girlfriend it's a different story you posted tons of photos of me half naked but when I do it it's a problem and when I say half naked yeah I'm trying to remember this and it was it was uh, it, it was a mirror selfie that's it right so he says, yep, the rules changed. Get used to it. So again, why he was doing this, I want to say it, it was just, just, just to get off. Get off on just treating me like crap just because he, like, I'm telling you, sick, sick and twisted individuals. Thank God I am not dealing with this freaking insane person anymore. But as you read this, now remember, this is all a 60-year-old man. So it's like, I'm sorry, what? Okay. So you can like other girls' photos and flirt with them, but you want me fully clothed now all of a sudden. You have no problem posting 30 photos of me half naked. Why is it a problem now? And he, once again, the photo sucks. Okay. Um, don't like the new rules? Hit the effing highway. Not accepting any phone or video calls from you at this time. Oh, yeah, honey. And with narcissists, and of course, this is like all stuff that I've read and seen and, you know, other videos and things. 
is, oh yeah, narcissists love to be in control. They love to be in control of, okay, now I'll talk to you, now I won't. Now, yeah, like, like it's a privilege to be in this person's company. <laughs> God. Um, so, so I'm like, just so we're clear, or just so I'm clear, what are the rules? Are you going to like other girls half naked photos? Are you going to disrespect me by liking other girls half naked photos? Yep. Yeah. And I remember all of my girlfriends reading this and they're like, like, apparently this isn't how normal relationships work. Apparently. And they, they all told me, told me this and yeah, like they all just like, they read this and they're like, oh my God, that like just the, and then there's stuff that I've, that is just the most blatant disrespect I've ever witnessed. I don't even know if I can post it on YouTube. I want to, it's going to have to be a lot of censoring. I want to, because every single person that saw this was just, they, their mind was blown. Okay. Um, I said, and are you going out with these other girls? Maybe. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so it's yes or no? It's maybe. Don't like it? Hit the effing highway. So, of course, I'm just... <laughs> I'm like... This is so small and it's like all cut off. But basically I'm, you know, just like, okay, well, let me make sure on what you're saying. Okay. Aw, unhappy with your relationship? End it. Okay. So <clears throat> this is, I, I, I had to mark this because I'm like, really? Really? Okay. I'm angry because I'm sick of your crap. And I'm not dealing with it anymore. And by my crap, I mean just, you know, treating me with respect. Don't lie to me. Don't cheat on me. Don't don't disrespect me. But see, it's okay. It was fine for him to do those things behind my back. That part was fine. The second I become aware of it, oh, no, no, no. It's a problem now. Oh, it's a problem. And I'm the problem. I'm the problem because I said something about it. I'm the problem because I'm not burying my head in this. I am, I'm the problem. Okay. So I, <laughs> this right here cracks me up. <clears throat> I'm sick of you faking your love for me, but never extending it beyond what you want to do. Your love does not extend anywhere beyond your wants. So from now on, it's about what I want. Honey, that's the pot calling the flipping kettle black. Sick of you faking your love. Um, I'm sorry. Who lied to whom for seven years? Yeah. Your love does not extend anywhere beyond your want. Again. Okay. 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 And it continues to say, I don't give a F what you think. Don't like it? Hit the F and highway. Not taking your calls, text, or emails the rest of the day. We'll see if you're nice to meet tomorrow. This right here was typical. Typical. He would flirt with other women, be disrespectful about it. I would find out, question him. He would get mad. It would be basically this the whole time. He would break up with me. I, and then, of course, I'm like, oh, my God, apologizing for crap that wasn't even my fault. I'm so sorry that I caught you with other women. I'm so sorry I found out about you disrespecting me. I'm sorry I found out. Next time I'll keep my mouth shut and I won't say anything. Next time I'll just, I won't say anything. Like that's what he wants. And, you know, have at it. But I want to say, no, it was just this way towards me. Because he wasn't like this with other women. 
well, that's because these other women were, were doing the same thing he was. Like, I just, trying to wrap your head around a narcissist, it's just, and, and what how a narcissist thinks and does, it's just not, you will drive yourself crazy because you are a sane person and they are a narcissist. So <laughs> thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this content, please consider subscribing. Thanks guys. See ya.